Hi guys, Yoshi here. Today, I'm going to break down Barato Prata from scratch. This is for people who have never tried it and find it difficult to do it. In this video, I'm going to break down the basic structure, how to set up and finish it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to break down the Barat Prata step by step. So the first one, I want to explain about the structure. So the Barat Prata is kind of a unique position. It's really, really different to the other submissions. That's not submission on his wrist or elbow joint. That is literally on his shoulder at Prada pressure, okay? So the first thing first, I want to make the shape on his arm. I'm going to take his right arm to finish it. So this position, okay? His elbow needs to be bent like this. Then it needs to be opened, right? Then I use my arm from behind the elbow joint. So this is the coordination I have to set up to make that, okay? The sh shape is quite similar to the Kimura or Americana, right? But it's a different thing is this. Most of the arm lock or something, it needs to be over like this. This one, or cross like this. But Barat Prata is coming different, okay? This, okay? Then I can make the frame against his arm to keep it opening, okay? And then next, I wanna show you the way how to set up from the beginning. No one wants to open the elbows whenever they're on the top position. Elbow should be really tight like this. So I cannot expect it, right? Even though I can get my arm under like this, I don't allow him to get through like this. He even gets the hand out. So that's why before I do the movement, I need to be control his wrist to keep his elbow bent. Okay? Now I just want to show like a roughly to do that. Just like after cut the grip like this, then I want to grab his leg from outside like this, okay? Yeah, this is not tight now. Right after I make this position, he needs to be able to extend his arm like this. So that's why I want to make a two-on-one lock to trap his arm. So I just grab his wrist like this. Then other arm goes under his armpit, like I showed you. Then I cannot make the proper camera lock from this position. It's like really tiny to do that, okay? I just wanna grab simply wrist like this. Then I wanna make sure that I push his wrist towards his chest. Then I can keep this angle that I mentioned, okay? And I can just close your elbow, like put it. Look, I've just cleared out, right? His arm is open and the elbow is bent like this. Then. I put my arm behind his elbow joint. So this is the coordination, okay? Now I'm gonna use my legs to trap his arm, okay? This may be the hardest part in this technique, okay? I just wanna roughly show the way to do it. I'm not gonna explain like a specific detail to do it. So somehow I just wanna open my legs, then I'm gonna pass my leg on this side. Like my right leg comes over his right shoulder, like this, okay? Look, when I time I make the movement, I want to make sure that I keep his wrist outside my leg. Look, you can see his wrist like this. So this is a situation I have to keep. This is a new detail, okay? When I time I do this movement, his hand cannot be inside my legs like this. This is not a big part of the right? He can easily extend his arm away. So I even use my right hamstring to trap his wrist like this, okay? So it's getting harder for him to pull his arm out, okay? Look, I already made a lock like this. Then he's not be able to pull his arm out. Can you just pull your arm out? Look, it's locked. But on the other hand, I don't even allow him to drive his arm forward to pull out his wrist like this. So I already use my tie like this, okay? The lock is not tight enough. I need to reinforce it, okay? So in order for me to do, I use my right leg to make it tight, okay? I shake it. Then at least my knee comes the same level as his shoulder level. Then I can use my leg to trap his arm. Look, I use my leg to push his shoulder. Then, you may not have seen it properly, I use my hamstring to trap his wrist. So I can just pull out your arm, like pull it. Look, it's already locked, okay? Once I set up, I'm going to get the lock tighter. My, right, my left leg is still shallow to apply pressure. He may be able to close his elbow like this, right? Even though I can isolate it. So from now, I'm going to make it deeper, okay? I use my right hand to open it here. Then I make some space behind his elbow joint, okay? Once I'm done it, I shake my left hand, like this type of movement. Then I dig my arm deeper, look. As I do so, look, my hand gets deeper than last one. Right, right after I set up, my hand's on this side, right? I couldn't touch side of my thigh. But as I get deeper, look, I can completely cap it, like making a butterfly hook, okay? So this is the proper frame 
So this could be really tight than the last one. He can no longer close his elbow even though he tries. He can try that. Look, it's completely locked. Okay. Then after I go like this, I do one more adjustment to finish, okay? I still, it's still available to use my right, left leg, okay? I'm going to step his hips with my sole like this, okay? Then in order for me to apply pressure, I have to gain the angle, right? As long as I stay in this angle, I cannot apply the pressure, although I squeeze it, okay? So what I like to do is like move around him, it's like a croc, okay? I step his hips, press on his shoulder, it's behind my knee joint. The only I want to do is turn around him. As I do so, there's gonna be the pressure on his shoulder. This is Barra Prater. Then this is another like a realistic situation. Right after you catch your point into a triangle like this. He has a several choices. It's like he wants to make the posture like this to escape, or like he may be able to find some space between my hips and his chest. So he's going to put his hand in to make a like, lock on his hands like this. This type of lock. Yeah, this is really common. So from this position, if he could pull out his right arm, he will have to escape like this. So in this situation, we have a chance to set up Bara Prater, okay? But I want you to take a look at this. He already created a situation, like his arm is open, elbow is bent, then his wrist is inside my legs. Look, like this. Okay, from now, I'm just gonna slide my hand in. Look, once I slide in, right, I've made a lock to trap his arm, okay? I'm gonna adjust the rest of the part. Then sometimes I'm gonna find a space to pass my right to the other side. So in this case, I slide to the bridge to make the gap between me and him, okay? Once I do the bridge, I've changed the level. Means I should find a space to pass my right leg to the other side. Look, like this. Okay, then I have set up the shape of Barrett Prater. Then there's a lot of things happens right after setup. So what he wants is drive his shoulder on me like this. Then I will get stacked, right? Maybe if he can come to like this, I may get passed. So in order for me to avoid is keep his shoulder away from me. So what I like to do is use my right leg to push his shoulder away like this. So as long as I do it, he cannot come to my side. Can you try that? He cannot come to, okay? And then as an option, I even use my leg to kick his hips away like this, like pushing him away with my legs. Then I trap his arm with my left arm like this. So this is the frame, how I maintain a position, okay? I want to adjust the lock. This is still shallow, okay? I use my hand to open his elbow. Otherwise, I cannot get my hand deeper, okay? I slightly open it. Once I open, I shake my hands. Now in this time, I want you to take a look how I use my hand, right? My index finger is the axis point to shake it like this, like a drill. Okay, so here, I pull his elbow, and then look, as I shake it, it gets deeper. Ideally, I want to cup side of my thigh, not like in front of my thigh or inside, outside like this, okay? This is pretty tight look now, okay? I'm gonna make more angle like this but he knows what I want to do. That's why when a time I move my body to the side like this, yeah, he stays in the same angle. So that's why I want to stop his rotation. There's been multiple choices. From this position, I want to cup the far side shoulder like this, like right behind armpit. So as I do so, he's not be able to take a walk to the other side. I use my legs and hand like this, okay? Can I take a walk to the other side? Look, I completely stop, like keeping him in front of me. So after I go like this, I slightly changed the angle, like doing a hip escape, right? So I want you to see how I look, okay, good. Like this. Well, as an option, if you guys are like uh, taller than your opponent, you can get like this under like this. This is more leverage to stay connected. So all you want to do is move yourself to the side. Then you apply the pressure. Okay, this is another entry from the mount position could be more chance to do that. Most of the time, when your opponent gets taken the mount, they like to keep their arms closed, the hands in front of the opponents like this, okay? Like, like he does. This could be really realistic. No one wants to extend the arms like this or open it, okay? Elbow should be closed, the hand needs to be in front of him. Look, this is a perfect situation which you can set up, okay? So I just wanna keep the position, so I use my hand to trap like this. Then. My arm goes underneath. Just the same lock I'm going to make, okay? The last one on the bottom, it was gonna be easier 
for me to use my legs to set up. But this, right, I'm on top position, that means my legs on the floor. That's why if I cannot shift my body weight at some point, I cannot use my legs. So here in this position, okay, I slightly drive my weight like this. And then I even shift my body weight on my left knee, okay? So as I do so, I should be able to use my right leg all the way like this, okay? Then it's gonna be slightly different to do from the bottom position. On the top, it's a bit less space behind him. That's why I just wanna make more angle. So after I go like this, I drive my hips forward. Then I use inner thigh to trap his wrist like this. And once I set up, I wanna get my right leg deeper. That comes right on my shoulder like the last one, like this. Okay, this is the angle right after setup, okay? So in this situation, I don't think I can get my arm deeper like I showed before, but here, I have more leverage. So from this position, like rotating my upper body, and then I can apply the pressure. Look, I use my upper body, like rotator cuff, okay? And finish by the Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please push the like button and leave us a comment down below. If you want to learn more techniques, simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This way we can bring you new and improved content. Thank you and see you next time.